Once upon a time in the land of pharaohs and pyramids, ambition burned as brightly as the desert sun. Yes, gentlemen, career advancement is not a new concept. It's woven into the very fabric of human history. Just as the ancient Egyptians climbed the ranks of their intricate social hierarchy, so too do we strive for recognition and advancement in our modern world. From the sands of time to the skyscrapers of today, the desire to ascend, to achieve, to leave our mark, well, it binds us all. Centuries later, the Roman Empire, a symphony of conquest and ambition, echoed these aspirations. Think of the centurion rising through the ranks, his courage and skill earning him greater command. His rise, like the rise of any great leader, wasn't an accident. It was a strategic climb fueled by dedication, strategic alliances and a keen understanding of the power dynamics at play. These men, these warriors, they understood that advancement wasn't simply handed out, it was earned. And what about the Renaissance? that glorious rebirth of art, science and culture. Consider a figure like Leonardo da Vinci, a man who transcended disciplines, mastering painting, engineering and anatomy. His relentless pursuit of knowledge, his daring creativity, propelled him to the forefront of his time. Da Vinci's journey reminds us that true advancement often lies at the intersection of passion, talent, and an unyielding commitment to excellence. Fast forward to the Industrial Revolution, an era of unprecedented innovation and progress. Pioneers like Nikola Tesla, with his groundbreaking work in electricity, redefined what was possible. Tesla's story, much like those of his predecessors, underscores the importance of vision. To climb the ladder, one must not only be adept at the task at hand, but must also possess the foresight to anticipate future trends and the audacity to shape them. From the conquering hordes of Genghis Khan to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, history whispers tales of ambition and achievement. These figures, giants on the world stage, weren't born into their positions of power. They earned them through cunning, through intellect, through sheer force of will. Their stories, though separated by centuries, share a common thread, a relentless pursuit of excellence, a mastery of strategy, and an ability to inspire and lead others. Consider Winston Churchill, the iconic British Prime Minister who led his nation through the darkest days of World War II. Churchill's rise to power was anything but linear. He faced setbacks, endured political exile, yet he never relinquished his ambition. His unwavering belief in himself, coupled with his exceptional communication skills and strategic brilliance, ultimately propelled him to the helm of a nation in crisis. In the 20th century, the space race ignited the world's imagination. Neil Armstrong's one small step was in fact a giant leap for mankind, a testament to human ambition and ingenuity. Armstrong's journey from test pilot to the first man on the moon exemplifies the power of preparation, focus and unwavering dedication to a singular goal. And today in the digital age, we witness the meteoric rise of entrepreneurs like Elon Musk, who dare to dream big and challenge the status quo. Musk's ventures from Tesla to SpaceX embody the spirit of innovation and disruption that has always been the hallmark of true progress. His story, like those of his predecessors, reminds us that the pursuit of advancement is not merely about climbing the corporate ladder, it's about pushing boundaries, breaking down barriers, and leaving an indelible mark on the world. But ladies and gentlemen, let's be clear, the battlefield has changed. We no longer wage war on horseback or build empires with swords and shields. Today's arena is the corporate world a complex and competitive landscape where knowledge, skills and strategic thinking reign supreme. 
The principles of advancement, however, remain timeless. Just as a Roman general needed to master military tactics and inspire his troops, so too must the modern professional navigate the complexities of his chosen field, build strong relationships and demonstrate unwavering commitment to his goals. In this modern age, technical expertise alone is no longer enough. We need to be adaptable, resilient and emotionally intelligent. We need to be able to collaborate effectively, communicate persuasively and navigate the ever-changing demands of the global marketplace. The rules of engagement may have evolved, but the fundamental truths of advancement remain constant. Success still favours the bold, the prepared and the unwavering. So, how do we conquer this new frontier? How do we rise above the competition and secure our place at the table? The answer, my friends, lies in understanding the timeless tactics that have propelled leaders throughout history. It's about mastering the art of strategy, building a personal brand that commands respect, and networking with the same astuteness as a Renaissance diplomat. Let us journey back to the 4th century BC, to the heart of ancient Macedonia, and examine the meteoric rise of Alexander the Great. Here was a man who, by the age of 30, had conquered most of the known world, carving out an empire that stretched from Greece to India. Alexander's story is not just a tale of military conquest. It's a masterclass in ambition, leadership and strategic thinking. From a young age, Alexander displayed an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. Tutored by the brilliant philosopher Aristotle, he immersed himself in the writings of Homer, the philosophies of Socrates and Plato, and the strategic teachings of military minds long gone. This intellectual foundation, this commitment to learning, laid the groundwork for his future triumphs. But Alexander's genius lay not just in his intellect, but in his ability to inspire and lead men. He possessed an aura of invincibility, a charisma that drew men to his cause and fueled their loyalty even in the face of insurmountable odds. He understood that true leadership wasn't about barking orders, but about standing shoulder to shoulder with his men, sharing their hardships and celebrating their victories. And then there was his audacity, his willingness to challenge the status quo and defy expectations. At the Battle of Gaugamela, facing the seemingly invincible Persian army, Alexander, outnumbered but undeterred, launched a daring cavalry charge that shattered the enemy lines and secured his place in the annals of history. From the ancient stones of Pella, we can extract timeless building blocks for our own ascent to success. Alexander's story teaches us that the journey begins not on the battlefield of promotion, but within the chambers of our own minds. Just as Alexander sought knowledge from Aristotle, we too must cultivate a commitment to lifelong learning, constantly expanding our skill sets and staying ahead of the curve. In today's rapidly evolving job market, complacency is not an option. We must embrace continuous learning, seeking out professional development opportunities, attending industry conferences and immersing ourselves in the latest research and trends. The modern professional landscape rewards those who are adaptable, those who are constantly evolving, those who, like Alexander, never stop seeking knowledge. Furthermore, Alexander's leadership serves as a potent reminder that success is rarely a solo endeavor. We must cultivate strong relationships, build alliances, and surround ourselves with a network of mentors, colleagues, and peers who challenge us, support us, and help us grow. Just as Alexander relied on his trusted generals, we too must recognize the power of collaboration and seek out individuals who complement our strengths and help us overcome our weaknesses. Finally, Alexander's audacity reminds us that true advancement often requires bold action. 
We must be willing to step outside our comfort zones to embrace calculated risks and to champion our ideas with conviction. The modern workplace rewards those who are proactive, those who are willing to take initiative, and those who, like Alexander, dare to seize opportunities and chart their own course. Centuries before Alexander, the Chinese general and strategist Sun Tzu penned The Art of War, a military treatise that has transcended time and found relevance in boardrooms and corporate offices around the world. Sun Tzu's teachings, though rooted in the battlefield, offer invaluable insights for navigating the complexities of career advancement. Know your enemy and know yourself, wrote Sun Tzu, and in a hundred battles you will never be defeated. In the context of career advancement, this translates to a deep understanding of your industry, your competitors, and most importantly, your own strengths and weaknesses. Just as a general studies the terrain before engaging in battle, we too must analyze the competitive landscape, identify opportunities, and develop a strategic plan to achieve our goals. Sun Tzu also stressed the importance of preparation and timing. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight, he wrote. In the realm of career advancement, this means being patient, strategic and knowing when to seize an opportunity and when to bide your time. It's about building a strong foundation of skills and experience so that when the time is right, you are fully prepared to make your move. Finally, Sun Tzu emphasized the importance of diplomacy and building alliances. The supreme art of war, he wrote, is to subdue the enemy without fighting. In the corporate world, this translates to the art of negotiation, persuasion and building relationships. It's about winning over allies, influencing stakeholders and navigating office politics with the same finesse that Sun Tzu brought to the battlefield. Alexander's conquests were not merely acts of military might, they were driven by a grand vision, a desire to create a world united under Hellenistic culture. This vision, this clear picture of what he sought to achieve, fueled his ambition, guided his decisions, and inspired unwavering loyalty in his followers. Similarly, our journey towards career advancement requires a clear vision of our desired destination. What is the pinnacle of success in your field? What impact do you aspire to make? What legacy do you wish to leave behind? By defining our goals with precision, we create a roadmap for our journey, a beacon to guide our decisions and actions. This vision, however, should not remain confined to the realms of our minds. We must give it tangible form. Whether it's crafting a detailed career plan, creating a vision board, or sharing our aspirations with trusted mentors. By externalizing our goals, we make them real. We hold ourselves accountable, and we invite the support and guidance of those around us. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, the path to success is rarely linear. There will be obstacles, setbacks, and moments of doubt. But by holding fast to our vision, by reminding ourselves of our ultimate destination, we can navigate these challenges with resilience and emerge stronger on the other side. Just as Alexander never lost sight of his dream of a unified world, we too must remain steadfast in our pursuit of our goals, knowing that with each step forward, we inch closer to our own personal summit. Ladies and gentlemen, while history offers a wealth of wisdom on the principles of advancement, the modern era has ushered in a new age of understanding, the age of data. Researchers, those meticulous explorers of human behavior, have delved into the very mechanics of career progression, uncovering fascinating insights that can illuminate our path to the top. A landmark study by the Center for Creative Leadership in 2010 
revealed that a staggering 70% of learning that contributes to career success comes from challenging on-the-job experiences. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the crucible where our skills are forged, our metal tested, and our capacity for growth truly revealed. It reinforces the age-old adage that true mastery is not attained solely through textbooks and lectures, but through the hands-on, often messy reality of tackling real-world challenges. Furthermore, a 2018 report by LinkedIn analyzing data from millions of user profiles identified the most sought-after skills by employers worldwide. Communication, problem-solving, leadership and adaptability. These are the currencies of the modern workplace. These aren't merely bullet points on a resume. They are the essential tools, the weapons, if you will, that equip us to navigate the complexities of our respective fields and ascend to positions of influence. Interestingly, the LinkedIn study also highlighted the importance of networking. Finding a strong correlation between the size and quality of one's professional network and their likelihood of securing promotions and advancing within their organisations. This, ladies and gentlemen, underscores the timeless power of relationships, of building a web of connections that can provide support, guidance and access to opportunities that might otherwise remain hidden. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's address a critical element of career advancement that often goes unnoticed. Visibility. In the vast expanse of the corporate world, it's not enough to simply be competent. We must be seen as competent. We must shine like stars in the night sky, capturing the attention of those who hold the keys to our advancement. Think of it this way. Every project, every presentation, every interaction with superiors and colleagues is an opportunity to showcase our abilities, to demonstrate our value to the organization. Are we consistently delivering high quality work, exceeding expectations and going the extra mile? Are we actively seeking out opportunities to share our ideas, to contribute to team discussions and to volunteer for challenging assignments? Moreover, in this digital age, our online presence plays an increasingly significant role in shaping our professional reputation. Is our LinkedIn profile a compelling reflection of our skills and experience? Are we actively engaging in industry conversations online, sharing thought leadership and building a network of connections within our field. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, visibility is not about arrogance or self-promotion. It's about strategically positioning ourselves for success. It's about ensuring that our contributions are recognised, that our talents are appreciated, and that our names are at the forefront of our superiors' minds when opportunities for advancement arise. Now, let's delve into the art of networking, a skill as old as civilization itself, yet perpetually relevant in our quest for career advancement. For just as a general relies on a network of scouts and informants to gather intelligence, we too must cultivate a web of connections that can provide us with insights, advice, and access to opportunities. Mentorship, ladies and gentlemen, is an invaluable asset in this journey. Seek out individuals, both within and outside your organization, who have already traversed the path you aspire to tread. Their experience, their insights, and their guidance can serve as an invaluable compass, navigating you through the complexities of your field and accelerating your growth. But networking is not merely about seeking favors or using connections for personal gain. It's about building genuine relationships, offering support and encouragement to others and contributing to a community of professionals who share common goals and aspirations. The most successful networkers, ladies and gentlemen, are those who understand the power of reciprocity, who give as much as they receive and who view their relationships as long-term investments rather than transactional exchanges. And let us not forget the power of digital networking. 
Platforms like LinkedIn provide unprecedented opportunities to connect with professionals across industries and geographies. Use these platforms strategically, ladies and gentlemen, to expand your circle of influence, to engage in thought-provoking discussions, and to position yourself as a thought leader within your field. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've covered the tangible aspects of career advancement, the skills, the experience, the networking, but there's another layer, the X factor, if you will, that sets apart the truly exceptional from the merely competent. These are the intangibles, the qualities that resonate with superiors and colleagues alike, making us not just valuable assets, but indispensable members of any team. First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, is integrity. In an era marked by rapid change and constant uncertainty, integrity, that unwavering commitment to ethical conduct, honesty and transparency, is more valuable than ever. It is the foundation upon which trust is built, the bedrock of lasting success. Next comes emotional intelligence, the ability to understand and manage our own emotions and those of others. In today's collaborative work environment, emotional intelligence is paramount. It allows us to navigate interpersonal dynamics with finesse, build strong relationships and inspire those around us. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we must cultivate resilience. The path to the top is rarely linear. There will be setbacks, disappointments and moments of self-doubt. Resilience is what allows us to bounce back from adversity, to learn from our mistakes, and to emerge stronger and more determined than ever before. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us turn our attention to the modern era and dissect the meteoric rise of one man who embodies many of the principles we've discussed. Mr. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon. Bezos' journey from a modest online bookstore to a global behemoth is a testament to the power of vision, innovation and an unwavering focus on the customer. From the outset, Bezos understood that true success lay not in merely selling products but in building a customer-centric enterprise. An ecosystem where every decision, every innovation revolved around delivering an exceptional customer experience. This laser focus on the customer, this relentless pursuit of their satisfaction became the cornerstone of Amazon's phenomenal growth. But Bezos's genius extended far beyond customer service. He fostered a culture of relentless innovation, encouraging his team to experiment, to take risks, and to constantly push the boundaries of what was possible. This spirit of innovation, this embrace of calculated risk-taking, led to the creation of groundbreaking services like Amazon Prime, Amazon Web Services, and countless others, propelling the company to the forefront of the digital revolution. And underpinning it all was Bezos's long-term vision, his willingness to play the infinite game, as he famously called it. He understood that true success was not measured in quarterly earnings reports, but in the lasting impact a company could have on the world. This long-term perspective, this commitment to building a legacy, allowed him to make bold bets, to weather short-term storms, and to emerge as one of the most transformative business leaders of our time. Bezos's unwavering commitment to the customer offers a profound lesson for all of us, ladies and gentlemen, regardless of our chosen fields. In today's interconnected world, where customer feedback can make or break a company's reputation, those who prioritize the customer experience, who consistently strive to exceed expectations, are the ones who rise to the top. This customer-centric approach, however, extends far beyond the realm of sales and marketing. It's about viewing every task, every project, every interaction through the lens of how it ultimately benefits the end user, whether that's a client, a colleague or a supervisor. 
Studies have shown a direct correlation between customer satisfaction and employee engagement. When employees feel connected to the purpose of their work, when they see firsthand the positive impact they're making on customers' lives, their motivation, their productivity, and their overall job satisfaction skyrocket. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, cultivate a deep understanding of your customers' needs, their pain points, their aspirations. Seek out opportunities to interact with them directly, to gather feedback, and to continuously improve your products, your services, and your overall approach. Remember, in the grand theatre of business, the customer is the ultimate critic, and their applause is the sweetest sound of success. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about innovation, the lifeblood of any successful organization and a key driver of personal advancement. Just as Amazon transformed from a humble online bookstore into a technological juggernaut, we too must embrace a mindset of continuous improvement, constantly seeking out ways to do things better, faster and more efficiently. Innovation, however, is not merely about generating groundbreaking ideas. It's about fostering a culture where new ideas are welcomed, nurtured and given the space to flourish. This requires a willingness to challenge the status quo, to question long-held assumptions and to embrace calculated risks. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, not every experiment will yield groundbreaking results. In fact, some of the most valuable lessons are often learned from failures. Embrace a growth mindset. View setbacks as opportunities for learning and never allow the fear of failure to stifle your creativity or your willingness to push boundaries. Furthermore, innovation is not a solitary pursuit. Encourage collaboration within your teams. Create spaces where ideas can be freely shared and debated and foster a culture of mutual support and encouragement. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, the most innovative organizations are those that harness the collective intelligence and creativity of their entire workforce. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's address a concept that is often overlooked in our fast-paced, results-oriented world, the power of long-term thinking. Jeff Bezos, in his final letter to Amazon shareholders, emphasized the importance of playing the infinite game, of making decisions not solely for short-term gains, but for the long-term health and sustainability of the enterprise. This principle, ladies and gentlemen, holds true for our own careers as well. While it's important to set ambitious short-term goals, we must also maintain a long-term perspective, investing in our skills, our relationships, and our overall well-being to ensure that we are continuously growing and evolving. Think of it this way. Every book we read, every skill we acquire, every relationship we nurture is an investment in our future selves. These investments may not yield immediate returns, but over time they compound creating a foundation of knowledge, experience and wisdom that will serve us well throughout our careers. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, prioritise your long-term growth. Set aside time for learning, for networking, for self-reflection. Cultivate a mindset of continuous improvement and never lose sight of the bigger picture. The legacy you wish to leave behind. The impact you aspire to make on the world. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, let us not forget the importance of data in our modern age. Just as ancient mariners navigated by the stars, we too must learn to navigate the complexities of our world using the vast constellations of data available to us. Jeff Bezos, a self-proclaimed data nerd, instilled a data-driven culture at Amazon using metrics and analytics to guide decision-making at every level.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us delve into a concept that has become increasingly important in our interconnected world, personal branding. Just as a company invests in crafting a compelling brand identity, we too must be mindful of the image we project, the narrative we weave, and the legacy we build within our professional circles. Personal branding, gentlemen, is not about artifice or self-promotion. It's about identifying our core values, our unique strengths and our aspirations, and then communicating them authentically to the world. It's about crafting a narrative that resonates with our target audience, whether that's potential employers, clients or collaborators. Take some time, ladies and gentlemen, to reflect on what sets you apart. What are your superpowers? What are you passionate about? What impact do you want to make on your industry and the world? Once you have a clear understanding of your personal brand, you can begin to communicate it effectively through your resume, your online profiles, your interactions with colleagues and even your personal style. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, consistency is key. Your personal brand should be reflected in everything you do, from the way you communicate online to the way you conduct yourself in meetings. Strive for authenticity, for genuineness, and let your true self shine through. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about authenticity, the bedrock of a strong personal brand. In today's world of carefully curated online personas, Authenticity is more important than ever. People can spot a fake from a mile away, so it's crucial that your personal brand is a true reflection of who you are, both professionally and personally. Authenticity, ladies and gentlemen, is about being comfortable in your own skin, embracing your quirks and imperfections, and letting your true personality shine through. It's about being genuine in your interactions with others, showing empathy and building connections based on trust and mutual respect. When you are authentic, you attract people who resonate with your values, your passions and your vision. These are the people who will become your biggest advocates, your most loyal supporters and your most valuable connections. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, authenticity is not a destination. It's a journey. It's about constantly reflecting on your values, your goals and your impact on the world and making adjustments to ensure that your personal brand is always aligned with your true north. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's explore the power of storytelling, an age-old art form that remains as relevant as ever in today's business world. Stories have the power to captivate our imaginations, to evoke emotions, and to make us care about the message being conveyed. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. What is more memorable, a dry recitation of facts and figures, or a compelling story that illustrates a point, evokes an emotion, and leaves a lasting impression? When we weave stories into our presentations, our pitches, and even our everyday conversations, we make our message stick. When crafting your own stories, ladies and gentlemen, focus on relatable experiences, challenges overcome, and lessons learned. Use vivid language, paint a picture with your words, and don't be afraid to inject a bit of humor or vulnerability. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, everyone has a story to tell. What's yours? How can you use it to connect with others, to inspire them and to advance your career? Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the digital age, where our online presence has become an extension of our personal brand. In today's interconnected world, it's not enough to simply exist online. We must actively cultivate a strong and positive digital footprint. Your LinkedIn profile, ladies and gentlemen, is your digital resume, your online business card, your opportunity to make a powerful first impression. Make sure it's up to date, showcasing your skills, experience and aspirations in a compelling and concise way. 
Use a professional headshot, write a captivating summary, and highlight your accomplishments with specific examples. But your online presence extends beyond LinkedIn. Engage thoughtfully on other social media platforms relevant to your industry. Share insightful articles, participate in discussions, and connect with other professionals in your field. Consider creating a personal website or portfolio to showcase your work, your projects, and your thought leadership. This is your digital domain, ladies and gentlemen, where you can control the narrative and present yourself to the world on your own terms. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we conclude our discussion on personal branding, let us remember that our actions, both online and offline, have a ripple effect. The way we conduct ourselves, the relationships we build and the contributions we make all contribute to the legacy we leave behind. Strive to be a positive influence in your industry. Mentor others, share your knowledge freely and be generous with your time and expertise. The more you give, ladies and gentlemen, the more you will receive in return. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, your reputation is your most valuable asset. Protect it fiercely, cultivate it carefully, and use it to make a positive impact on the world. For in the end, it's not the positions we hold or the titles we accumulate that truly matter, but the lives we touch and the difference we make. Ladies and gentlemen, we've journeyed far together, traversing the annals of history, dissecting the strategies of titans, and uncovering the science behind modern day achievement. From the battlefields of Alexander the Great to the boardrooms of Jeff Bezos, we've extracted timeless principles, actionable insights, and a blueprint for success in the 21st century workplace. Remember these key takeaways, ladies and gentlemen. Cultivate a thirst for knowledge, for the landscape of your field is ever evolving. Hone your communication skills, for the power to articulate your vision is paramount. Master the art of networking, for strategic alliances are the lifeblood of advancement. And above all, ladies and gentlemen, cultivate an unwavering belief in yourself for it is this inner fire that will fuel your ascent to the very top. The path to the summit may be steep, ladies and gentlemen, fraught with challenges and unexpected detours. But let me assure you, the view from the top, the satisfaction of achieving your full potential, it is a reward worth striving for. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, success is not about luck, nor is it reserved for a select few. It is the culmination of preparation, perseverance, and an unwavering commitment to excellence. It is a journey that begins not with a single grand gesture, but with a series of small, deliberate steps taken consistently over time. So, ladies and gentlemen, I leave you with this. What is one action you will take today to move closer to your goals? Will you reach out to a mentor, enroll in a course, or simply dedicate 30 minutes to honing a vital skill? Remember, ladies and gentlemen, you are not alone in this journey. At M. Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we are your trusted allies, your guides in navigating the complexities of career advancement. We offer personalized strategies, proven frameworks, and the unwavering support you need to ascend the ranks and achieve your full potential. Ladies and gentlemen, the summit awaits. Your ascent begins now.